Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod and in this video, we are going to learn about the powerful lesson learned as a software tester. Trust me, these uh, important lessons I'm going to share with my experience, like eight plus, eight plus years of experience in software testing. And uh, they will help you even if you are a fresher or an experienced experience, uh, QA, right? These uh, important lessons you have to include in your daily routines or you have to basically uh, follow them that I believe. And definitely if you follow them, strictly you will learn a lot and definitely you will succeed all right so these are my personal a couple of lessons that i wanted to share with this community so let's get started i hope you're excited because let's uh, learn what are these important lessons okay so the first important lesson that we have to do is don't regret so why i'm saying this is that uh, let me tell you why because whenever uh, if you have uh, read the uh, software testing 2020 report or 2021 right in that majority of the people who are into software testing right either they are accidental accidental basically means they haven't decided that they will go to software testing industry or they are into software testing by chance by mistake or probably some of the circumstances something happened and they are into software testing or probably some companies have assigned a role they needed that role and that's why they are into software testing right so i would recommend this is very important principle especially for freshers who are basically not paying attention that okay uh if it is a software testing i'll not go for it because i am interested only in development everybody won't want to go towards the software development right but trust me if you are good, if you have a skills, if you love to find bugs that I have already discussed in the previous videos, right? Uh, then software testing is the right career for you. Trust me, a couple of, uh, I mean, I have like lots of friends who love their job and they are earning well also. So don't regret. That's my uh, simple principle, which basically says that introspect, introspect uh what you can do better suppose you are in suppose some company have already assigned you as a manual tester or an automation tester right what you can do better what value you can provide that you have to think about you don't have to regret the previous decision okay you will waste your time if you are regretting if you keep on regretting you will waste your time so that's what the principle number one and a powerful lesson that i have learned don't regret always always start improving yourself introspect uh, why you are here, what value you can provide and that will help you a lot. Uh, if you agree with this point, guys, uh, even if you are a fresher or experienced person that you don't have to regret, but you have to instead you have to learn and provide more value. Comment down below and let me know if you are uh, if you are agree with this. Right? Powerful lesson number two, right, which is learn from failures. Basically from is I missed, right? Uh, what do you mean by this promote it basically means learn from your interviews whatever the field interview that you have right learn from other people uh watch mock mock interviews work watch other interviews their experiences right learn from their failures learn from the bug leaks which basically means if you already are a software tester right and uh you have uh basically there's a production bug which is happening right learn from it what went wrong and to root cause analysis and basically learn from it communication is an important thing guys start improving your communication right and professional uh incompetency this is very important which is basically means lack of ability or a failure to apply knowledge or skills you have the skills but you are not able to apply right improve that right so that's thing uh and how to do that it basically you will learn over the period of a time but if you uh, the first step is recognize that okay i am not good with this skill for example i am not good with creating test plan but i am not good with the uh, back block black boss box testing right so that i can uh, that you need to pay attention to it okay and the most important thing which is the principle number third is build a network this is very important uh, because if you know my experience i have changed my job as well as uh, most of the time I have changed my job with my network that I already have. But what do you mean by this network, right? From what you will ask me, follow similar people that, uh, similar people by name, if they can be a developer or they can be a software tester, which are basically matching with your profile, follow the mentors, follow them, add value to their uh, content. For example, if they are creating videos, you can comment down, you can help them somewhere, right? So build a network. So what? I did personally is that I have a couple of similar people. Uh, I have two categories people like they are mentors or they are similar people kind of a thing or 
I can say uh, I want to be. So these are mentors, and this is basically right now what I am, right? So these people, similar people, will help you to build network as well as give you open up, uh, give you more opportunity. But but mentors, they will provide you more. But we call it uh, opportunities related to they. Will, you will learn new concepts for them. Uh, you will learn what are the things trending things right now going on in software testing, right? So you will learn from them. So that's what is very important, right? Uh, let's jump into the another point which is very important, and I think uh, the especially the experience QA. This is for you. Don't ignore learning. So it basically means read books always, always read books, guys. And uh, it can be uh, it can be related to software testing as well as it can be related to some other uh, personal development also, right? So you can do that. Read and write blog, which is where people are still lagging. And watch and pay for learning. This is important, which basically means you have to take courses. I still take courses, guys, from Udemy or some other people, right? If I uh, I have to advance, for example, couple of points. For example, I don't know how to uh, work with Gitlab, right? I have to take some uh, tutorial for this. I'm still taking with like eight years experience. I can directly go to Gitlab website and read the documentation, but that's not what I want to do right now. Uh, why? Because I have very limited time. Right, and if I will take that course of like three hours and four hours, and they can cover enough that I can apply in my job or somewhere, definitely pay for that learning. Right, so that's the important point. If you are here till now, if you are able to understand this, I think uh, you are at right track because these are the powerful lessons that I am discussing, guys. Trust me, they will help you. These are very common, common uh, lessons, but they will help you a lot if you keep that in your mind. Okay, share something which is we are still am um, uh, continuously talking about this uh, from the start of this testing academy channel. Write blogs, read Quora, answer on Stack Overflow, share your knowledge with your juniors, group, give them without any expectation. This is very important. Don't expect any return from any junior or anywhere. Right, just give whatever that you are learning. And without any expectation, touch me, you will learn a lot. So these were the powerful lesson learned as a software tester. I hope you have learned something new and uh, they basically have, have helped me a lot like in my eight plus years of experience and uh, especially this building part as well as learning part, which is which are most important. You have to find similar people as well as mentor and you have to read books and pay for the learning Right? Like these. They are very important lessons you have to keep in mind while growing as a fresher or as experienced people experience QA. okay thanks a lot for watching till now and if you have liked this video till now if you have learned something please make sure to like this video and give it a thumbs up and uh, please share with uh, anyone who is uh, uh, basically fresher or want to jump into software testing these are the powerful lessons they might it might help them right so thanks a lot i'll see you in the next video bye this is Rohosh Pramod. see you